suplex. Welcome to our. I don't know what happened to the microphone. Uh, the battery, uh, sir. The battery is going on this mic. That, that's be, that's here we go. We're off and running here at Thoughts Count Anywhere. That's because we're not on radio. No, we're not on radio. That's why we're not on radio. Here you go, Mr. <laughs> Producer. With that, should we try again? Get Good evening, everybody. Job. Welcome to the Thoughts Count Anywhere monthly remote show coming to you live from Firehouse Subs, located where, Chief? 5905 Southeastern Avenue, Suite 109. That's it. 7 8, we are down here. We got a lot of raffle items. We got folks in the restaurant enjoying dinner. Our staff is back there ready to rock and roll. Hi, staff. <laughs> Woo! And of course, sitting with us here tonight is the FSW. What is the title? It's, it's so big over That here. is the FSW Nevada State. Champion Nevada State Champion, Mr. Remy Marcel. Welcome, champ. You're on. It's good. Appreciate that. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. See, I am an appropriate attire. That's right. That's right. Sixer. That's well, right. We didn't. We were not so privileged to obtain an '86er shirt yet. That's because you're not in my league yet. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's wow. Is it is. Heat? You notice that, Remy? We're quick on this yeah, show. But a, shout out to You're Jennifer. New Jersey. Yeah. We are actually on in Hawaii right now. One of our fans in Hawaii. Jennifer's watching. Thank you, Jennifer, as Hi, always. Jen. How are you tonight? Chief at the far end. Matt right there in the middle, of course, the champ. And, of course, everybody out there, we thank you for joining us tonight. A lot to talk about. We got a lot of raffle items here to my left. We'll show you those throughout the show. And we're getting... <laughs> Scott's providing a little motivation for our uh, hosting crew up here. But anyway, Scott Hosey's here. Jake is here. Liz is here. I'll give you Thomas is here. Where's Dave? Dave is over there. <laughs> Garth is here, and we appreciate it. Champ, how you doing, sir? Oh, feeling great. How about yourself? Doing all right. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? Wonderful Thanksgiving. How about you guys? It was good. Had to work part of it, but ate a bunch of food once I got off. And that's really What are you thankful for for Thanksgiving this oh, year? Yeah, Anything in particular? Uh, just uh, another year in the, uh, in the old uh, pro wrestling, let me tell you. Make it another year is a good thing, huh? Yeah, oh, yes. How many uh, years, Remy? Uh, Fifteen strong. Damn. Uh, Did bless. you start when you were 12? Oh, I, I appreciate you. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I appreciate you. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not as old as I look, huh? Uh, yeah, 15. 15 right strong. So just another thankful for another year in this place. There you go. You know, Remy's from uh, New Jersey. Trent, New Jersey. That's right. Trent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Born, hometown, born not raised, though. Born, not raised. Well, I'm, I'm, from, I'm from Linden, Union County, oh. up by the airport. We don't, yeah. we don't care about that. I know. There's that dividing line. We don't care about that. <laughs> what exit off the – exactly. Off of uh, exit four off the turnpike, Exit right? seven. Oh, seven. Yeah, seven. Great yeah, adventure. Seven. Yes, uh, great adventure. Yeah. used to be. Yeah. Seven, and then the, the one north of it's uh, Heights Town. That's there right. you go. That's right. Yeah. Welcome to the show all about New Jersey, ladies and gentlemen. The Garden State. The Garden State. So where there's like the no garden. The closer you get to the Jersey Shore, the worse you are. Especially off that show. I don't know. Yeah, just <laughs> I know nothing about New Jersey. <laughs> minus the show. Jersey used to, the Jersey Shore used to be good when Steel Pier was there back in the 60s. <laughs> Okay, they had the dive. He's showing horse. his age now. The right. diving horse. Hey, I'm 69. I'm, uh, I'm. Hey now. I'm. You know. Giggity. There you go. I'm. Re I'm ready to roll. Hey, you guys. You guys said the last show I was kind of melancholy. I ain't melancholy tonight. I'm ready to go. <laughs> you took your meds tonight. You're rocking and rolling. I'm too. ready, man. I could tell. I am ready. By the way, do you have a little mini rant maybe ready for tonight? I, Something you can cook up with? I, I may be able to. Since the Chiefs Rant segment sponsor is sitting here in the audience, we might as well give them a pop with yeah, a little no pressure. rant. The Brew Brothers. That's right. Thomas and Nicholas. Sin City Sublimation also making our show possible. Brew Brothers, Firehouse Subs. Who else am I missing? That's about it right now. Power Play Sports oh, Collectibles. Oh, really? Finley Claus. Finley Mazda. <laughs> what did you call him when he walked in? Mazda Claus. Mazda Claus. Yeah. That's right. Mazda Claus, Firehouse Subs, Scott, and of course, Go Live Vegas. No, you look better with it on. The less we see, the better. There it is. Anyway, all right. Before we get to Remy and all that's good in Remy's world, what do you say we cover a couple of topics under I Hear Voices? What do you think? Ding, ding, ding. I, I said, were you not listening? My own producer says. I missed it because I was on the show. Oh, so go ahead and show it anytime you want to, by he's, all means. He's, 
He's I already said we got giveaways here to my left. We have signature items, Miss, uh, the, the uh, Four Horsemen with Tully. Uh, we got a couple of packages in there, Power Play Sports. Uh, I'll just call them grab bag envelopes with uh, signed pictures. A couple of cards down on the table of uh, Keith Lee and Tony Storm. There you go. And Adam Cole down there when they were still in NXT and doing well. Will you, will you remind <laughs> They're me? They're doing all right. Will you send, yeah, they are. Will you send me a message later tonight, please? Hey, no. About? <laughs> Bring uh, Q-tips to the studio on Saturday so he can clean his ears He never out. listens to the show. <laughs> he <laughs> never <laughs> listens to the show. What's he doesn't new? listen to the show while he's sitting there. And then he, he hollers at us. And, you know, like we're dummies. <laughs> you know, but I did. I podcast for dummies. Blame Canada. Yeah. Blame. <laughs> Jeez. Send your emails, Canada, too. All right, let's get started with some topics, shall we, gentlemen? Ding, ding, ding. All right, people in WWE are under the impression that Johnny Gargano and Kyle O'Reilly will not be with the company past this week after War Games. Gentlemen, anything hot, new, and exciting on that front? I want to see an Undisputed Era reunion in AEW and watch them go against the elite, be some good television. Chief? I don't disagree with you. You know, uh, Kyle, go back with Bobby Fish. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think that, you know, they're still a good tag team. Maybe, and maybe they can give the, uh, um, the brothers... Young Bucks. Yeah, that's it, the Young Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I have a tough time. I speak chief. I <laughs> he, he I speak knows. chief. <laughs> may, <awesome>. Maybe. <laughs> that's my half Heimers. <laughs> 37-5. That's right. Remy, with the, obviously with your schedule, 15 years in the business, do you get, a chan- do you get much of a chance to, to – keep some pulse on what's going on on the national scene with some of these companies uh you know yeah you try but uh for for the most part it just you know you you have a, your waves so when uh when all my friends were on uh, i watched a lot sure you know when when they're not there i tend not to watch as much <laughs> so that's just kind of how it is uh, at this point uh if i had to give my take on it i i think kyle o'reilly has a little bit more to uh uh, prove or want to do in WWE. Maybe he goes with his friends, but uh, you know it's hard if they throw money at you. It's hard. So sure. uh, I'll take the devil's advocate. I say he resigns. Okay. All right. And Johnny Gargano, you think is gone? Oh yeah, man. Johnny's gone. And if you look at the posts that are on social media that Johnny and Champa posted with each other and everything else, it certainly seems like that Gargano is done. I was going to ask you, what about Champa? Is he? Is he? Uh is he going to stay or? He said he's retiring in NXT. He said he's never going to go to the main roster. So he either, he either leaves or stay in NXT. All right. While well, Chief's looking that up, let's go on to our <laughs> next topic. Rumor is that the Lesnar Roman match at day one will be a series of a few matches. So this is not going to be a one off. Oh, so it is. <laughs> the excitement. Tune in Wednesday is TNT. That's <laughs> all. So is it going to be one of these things you think, though, where let's say at day one, Lesnar wins, and then the next match, Roman gets it back, we go to a third match to break the tie kind of thing, or are we looking at scrum of some sort of day one causing a rematch later on? Well, you're talking about that guy with the funny bone in his With the little ponytail, yeah. I don't care. Well, I had to move on to another topic while you were looking up stuff online there. I was looking to see how old Ciampa was. We're going to have to okay. put up with this nonsense until no. WrestleMania. Yeah, I, I think that sounds about right. Yeah, I mean. It, uh, listen, you know, I, they're the two biggest stars in the, uh, in the company. So, I mean, they're going to obviously go at it. I, I think, I think when you're, where you're finding it is a lot of uh, you guys seem to enjoy pro wrestling in a work rate fashion where the business is driving. And WWE kind of gives you that same old, same old. So everybody's looking for an alternative. You yeah. know, I, I've We've seen a, it before, right? Yeah. Exactly. And, and I saw an article online, the top 10 things that need to be retired that we see all the time, such as contract signings and the distraction from outside the ring and the referee taking bumps, because we're seeing that, like you guys just said, over and over and over, and it loses its appeal when it's overdone. We, we get that, though, but AEW delivers it in a different way. No, we just had that. We just had Warlow or whatever the fuck. 
Yo, sorry, can you curse? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So just you not say, too you, much when yeah. the owner's watching. That's hey now, all uh, but you you have you have you you just how you do it. It's all, it's all about how you do it, and I think these people uh, want a different alternative, right? That with uh, with AEW or or whatever else. I if I had to give you a production, uh, like if I had to tell you what I like, I'm kind of leaning towards MLW. I kind of like what they're doing. That's just my my take on it. I I enjoy where they're going. Uh, it gives you an alternative, and everybody there is kind of underground. It feels different, new, and uh, young, I guess. So, yeah, feel, yeah, feels I, hip. I feel like AEW feels like as if it's what you wanted ECW to do, right? Sure. So it makes you want to go to the show. I want to go to the show. I want to go there to sing the Jericho song and do all that stuff. So I mean, like. They have a culture. This is what is lacking in WWE. That's yeah. So you're not going to get the greatest out of uh, the matches. I think you know you're still going to get Lesnar, Roman Reigns, but we already had that two years, three years ago. Exactly. Know, so exactly. But at that point, that's when Roman was not exactly a fan favorite. It was being pushed down everybody's throat. At, well, but he's more accepted in the heel role, and it seems to be working much better for him as a heel than he did as a face. Yeah, there's a reinvestment. There's definitely a reinvestment from the fans. I think uh, you're going to get that when you start to rewrite and Roman's taken a, a very much uh, better role on being the heel that he did maybe when they were kind of force-feeding him down us like right now, mm-hmm. so he has a little bit more. I don't know. I'm I'm all for it. I'll, I'll watch it if, if it's on, but I'm, you know, my money's in into the AEW product at sure. the moment. Sure. Makes sense. Makes sense. You touched on the fact you've been doing this for, what, 15 years now? Yeah. What got you started, man? Uh, Dean Malenko, Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero. Uh, my buddy and I, we used to watch wrestling back in the day where um, we just watched every day, right? Monday Night Raw into Monday Nitro. Right. I mean, I'd even watch the replay. So then I just wanted to be a pro wrestler. That's all I wanted to do is have a match or be out there in front of people. And then it just kind of grew into – being in front of a lot of people and doing a lot of <laughs> matches and then m- making money at it. So it's just all different. Right on. Right on. Matt? I've been a fan of yours since, like, the disco days. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Wow. What has been, like, your favorite you, match of you your really career had thus far? Bring that knucklehead up. Oh, wow. Um, I've had a lot. Uh, you know, um, anything that has to do with a big crowd, I think uh, there's – the street fight with the bonus boys that me and Jack had was a pretty good favorite. Me, me, Jack, and Cody and Duke was a was a good one, and that was another street fight. Uh, me and Ice was not too bad. I, I kind of had a lot of fun with Ice, uh, just because you know you you like to beat up dudes like that, right? Who, <laughs> <laughs> who who hasn't had that cocky dude who thinks he's the best, and you just want to you know punch him in the face. Uh, you got that a little bit out of class this last little bit too from me. So. Um, my favorite match as of late was me and G Sharp had this uh, good match in Arizona. Uh, hopefully you'll see it soon, but it was in front of a lot of people where uh, the crowd was just emotionally invested, and we went to a time limit draw. The first time I ever got, like, we ever got, like, five more minutes. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. So anything, like, first time chants are good, like, this oh, yeah. is awesome and all that stuff, I think, like, kind of makes it memorable. Uh, so anything memorable, um, it's, it's more like who I like working you know, like my favorite opponent's probably like Hammer. You know, like uh, he's not a night off, so you know you're in, <laughs> you're in, you're in for a fight uh, throughout the entire night. Uh, he's the best to sharpen your tools on. Um, so Hammer is definitely like one of my favorite to to wrestle. Uh, Joe Graves is probably another favorite one, uh, just because they're just again they're like brutes. Uh, I really wouldn't mind getting in there with like Toa. Uh, if we can, if we can do that one day, that would be cool. Um, Kevin was always fun. How about like, Jersey? Oh, uh, Jesus! I just feel like he'll squash me, right? But I mean, he's he's also really good, right? And I and I I'm all about like wrestling younger talent too. And he's only a couple of years in the business, whereas I'm a little longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> a little longer in the tooth. <laughs> so hey, yeah, Remy, I got a question yeah, man. for you, and this is straight up. Uh-oh. I know you're a trainer over at FSW. What career do you see some young man by the name of Bodie having in the professional wrestling business? Oh, wow. Uh, you know, that's that's a subject that I think, like, you know, you'll be talking for the next, like, five to ten years, right? 
Uh, that kid's super special in a lot of ways, uh, both as a young man and personally. Like, outside the ring, he's he's super, like, a good human being, right? Yeah. Uh, Laura, his mom, did a really good job with him oh, as yeah. of this. And he's got a lot of good support system around him. Uh, as a talent, holy shit. <laughs> you know, like, the stuff that he does, you just wish. And in, if I was, like, nine and I had the opportunity to wrestle – in a ring or do any of that stuff, I would have jumped at that chance. So it's good that he's doing it now. You'll he'll probably be the youngest to like be on a PWG card for sure. Interesting. For sure. One last uh, voices comment, then we'll give away our first raffle item and go to break. Lacey Evans recently Ooh. posted a picture on social media that she's in excellent shape and is teasing coming back to the WWE real soon. I saw the picture. Well, she'll, she'll kick someone's butt. Very she, she better. She's, a, a, she's, she's a, marine. a marine. Right, yeah. All right. Semper, I, Semper did Fi. I didn't. No, Semper Fi. I stopped it. Once a marine, always a marine. <laughs> I caught myself. But she looked good. I mean, would you be happy to see her come back? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Right? She, what, what did you say back there? I, I, heard, I heard a sound from the peanut gallery back there, uh, Mr. Scott. But Somebody was chirping. Oh, it was chirping? Yeah, All right. I don't know. So... Be on the lookout. Lacey Evans could be returning soon to a television show near you. All right. Let's give away our first raffle since we have a lot of prizes here, and then we'll go to our first break. Sound like a good idea? Sounds like a plan. All right. Last call for anybody who wants tickets. Did you guys get your tickets? All righty. So, Miss Liz, let's mix them up real good so that otherwise we have to, you Let know, Remy there's one pick. guy who's got like a, yeah, have, have Let, our guest pick one. Let Remy pick it. Please. Please. This way he can't. I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll make it winner's choice, except for the big picture. It might be my autograph. You never know. There you go. Three. So la last three, right? Yes, sir. Last three digits. Zero, nine, three. Zero, nine, three. Zero, Who's got it? Garth nine, has 9,000 tickets in front of him. Zero. Zero, nine, three. Nine, Could be the staff. Anybody three. from the staff have zero, nine, three? Zero, nine, three. Wow. Hey, now, Garth, of course. Well, he bought like a thousand yeah. tickets tonight for crying out loud. Garth Miss Claus. All right. Come on over here. <laughs> the only thing you can't take right away is the big picture up front. You could take one of the envelopes or one of the cards. Door number two. Door, Door number, number two. Door, yeah, the big picture is our grand prize. Door number there two. There you go. Yeah. All right. Congratulations. Garth is um, uh, taking one of the packs from Power Play Sports Collectibles. Oh, yeah. You fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. Oh, it's, it annihilated. You can, he going, annihilated. All yeah. right, with that, as we clean up Garth's mess, we're, we're going, going to, to step break. aside for our first break. When we come back, more with Remy, more giveaways, more questions, more talks. We appreciate you hanging in, and we'll be right back after this. One. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit you hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over, listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide much-needed life-saving equipment to first responders. We make our subs differently because our subs make a difference. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. If inspiration is the beginning... Where does it lead? Experience the 2021 Mazda 3 sedan and see where inspiration can take you. Grab the brass ring in a 2021 Mazda 3 with exclusive FSW discounts at Finley Mazda. Get Garth today at the Valley Auto Mall. Sin City Sublimation is an all-in-one design and manufacturing shop making everything here in Las Vegas. Most companies have everything made overseas. We do not and can do all the work in two weeks or less. From the court to the field, we have all types of sports uniforms for your liking, but if you are looking for something else, we also make memorial shirts, birthday shirts, and fan gear for your kids' teams. Send us an email at sales at sincitysublimation.com, and if you mention Thoughts Count Anywhere, we will take $5 off each shirt with a minimum of 12 purchased. A pro wrestler-owned business, we are known for reasonable pricing with a fast turnaround all made in the USA. For more information, go to SinCitySublimation.com for more. 
this is John Cena. I just, I just, I just wanted to send you a congratulations on your podcast. Thoughts count anywhere, because indeed they do. Thoughts are important. I mean, what would they, we do without them? And how can they not count anywhere? I just, is there a place that thoughts don't count? I can't think of one. Well, I just wanted to say thank you very much. Congratulations and good luck on the podcast. Thoughts count anywhere because they do. If you order Firehouse subs online or with our app, we'll have those delicious, melty subs boxed, bagged, and ready to pick up with Rapid Rescue to go. Firehouse subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. All right. All right. Welcome back to Thoughts Count Anywhere, monthly remote from Firehouse Subs. 5905 Southeastern Avenue, Suite 109. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Give yourselves a round of applause for coming out tonight. We appreciate it. Seeing Remy Marcel, our champ, with us here. He's joining our conversation, and we appreciate him taking time out of his busy schedule. All right, War Games, gentlemen. War Games was this past weekend, I think, where we officially saw the close of the black and gold era of NXT. But before we get to that, Matt told me he has a stupid story to share with us. So go away. Let, let's let's, you got let's a share. Story tonight? My weekly retarded Fremont story. All right, let's have it. But this is a special edition on a Tuesday night. This former employee got their last check from the go-kart place, and they kept calling saying they had a hard time cashing it. And they were like, oh, bring it in. This guy actually whited out the check and tried to write $800 over the thing and tried to demand another check. Wow. Not only did he not get another check, he is currently at the Clark County Detention Center. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Matching bracelets. He got a free trip. <laughs> wow. Takes all kinds, doesn't it? Holy cow. All right, so let's talk about war games, gentlemen. Uh, overall, what was your reaction to the card? There's what, about six matches? Five matches? Five. What was your thoughts overall before we dive into the individual matches? Uh, overall, if I could have got Peacock to work, I would have been able to watch it. But unfortunately, I couldn't watch it because freaking WWE and Peacock sucks. All right, there you go. Chiefs rant brought to you. But no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm getting wound up. Matt, how about you, Matt? Let me the women's match was pretty let me, decent. Let me All the other matches are really good, though. Let me take. I my thought it was a good card out. for what it was. Okay. Did you get a chance to watch it? I did not. I did What's not your see. thoughts on NXT though, going from that black and gold version to what is now NXT 2.0, back to the developmental style that was originally intended for NXT? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> the watercolors. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I you know it's so I it sucks that you know people that were there aren't there anymore. But uh, you know Sefa is there, right? And he's doing right. really, really good. And like I like the way they're using him. I like uh, I like characters a lot. So that's what they tend to use. Um, I'm all for whatever, whatever, whatever gets the uh, next generation going. I'm all for it. It sucks that um, they let a lot of guys go. You know, uh, but uh, where I feel like they just signed everybody and they didn't know anything to do with anybody. So they're just kind of throwing whatever going to get get over. So I think like uh, those guys just have to get over. Yeah. And yeah. that's what sort of concerns me about AEW because they've signed so much talent that has been released from the WWE and such that Shh. they've got a lot of bodies and not enough TV time now as well. Yeah, it's going to get a little crazy. I think uh, you're going to see a vacuum uh, where uh, there will be. There's a lot of talent all the time now, so it's kind of hard uh, pick and choosing where and what company you, you want to do and where you want to go. I think uh, everybody has like a uh, an idea. Right. Um, you're starting to see that with like GCW and and uh, other like little promotions pop up that are starting to make like a big name uh, MLW. But right. with Ring of Honor closing now, where do you see like John Grissom? Right. Where do you see all these other guys who uh, who are starting to influx? Do you see him in NXT? Do you see him in AEW? You know, uh, you just you guys mentioned Kyle O'Reilly and Gargano. Gargano for me would be poster boy AEW generation thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Like I like Adam Page. Like he's cool and and I, I get it. I'm all for it, but like Gargano's like the that's the AEW style, if you ask me. And like True. I, I, see, I see him going. It's it's PWG. It's it's all that stuff. 
yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what's, your, right. what's your flavor, baby? That's you know, it. Exactly. It's ice cream. So let's break it down. The women's war games match Raquel Gonzalez, Core Jade, Io Shirai, and Kaylee Ray defeated Toxic Attraction, Dakota Kai. I think we all had that wrong on Saturday. No, negatory. No, you did. Oh, did. Matt and I did. Oh, Chief Matt Ryan. Negatory. I called it. Yes, called she did. It. I yes, she called did. it, and I got harassed. <laughs> I got abused on Saturday by you two. <laughs> by you two, as normal. So this week, I'm not sitting in the middle. One of you two are sitting in the middle this week. All right. We got Sounds a good. Guest. I don't mind. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. NXT Tag Team Championship Imperium defeated Kyle O'Reilly and, Va and Von Wagner. Or is it Von Wagner if you're from Europe? You guys called that one. I missed that one. Was it? Was. The end of the match? Yeah. Right. There you go. <laughs> I mean, that I, was slick. So, so the, was, was the swerve the highlight, would you say? Yeah, it was a <laughs> good back Oh, they can't forth. hear him. What's that? Yeah. Okay. It, Garth said that it was a nice swerve at the end. At he, the li end. he liked it. He enjoyed Garth Smith Claus. Wait. He said Maz that the, Mazda Claus. Mazda Claus. There you go. <laughs> like the end. Like the finish. Cameron Grimes defeated Duke Hudson in a hair versus hair match. Hey, I'm waiting to see that sucker bald, man. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he got it. He got it. Did he, he get clean shaven? Uh, it was it was starting, but uh, he ran out of the ring. So we'll see how he is next Tuesday. All right, sounds like the plan. Be on right now, actually. NXT Cruiserweight Championship. Roderick Strong defeated Joe Gacy to retain his title. Yeah, you guys called that one too. I missed it. And this I is thought a, Joe Gacy was going to win so solely because they thought they were going to get rid of the cruiserweight title. Right. right. Because that's when they were talking about shelving. So. Well, I was hoping, you know, as Remy said, you know, people starting to get pushed. I was hoping Gacy was right. going to get the push, but I guess not, not, not yet. Right. Well, but he had a good showing, though, going, you know, whenever you get a title yes, match, did. generally that's, that's a great opportunity to at least be showcased. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. And then the men's war game match, Team NXT 2.0 defeated, as we talked about, Team Yellow and Black pretty much putting the knife in the yellow and gold that's promotion. What it, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> so, that's what it sounds like. That is, that is uh, going to close that chapter. So, all right. Before we move forward with more topics, you have a question for Remy that you guys want to throw yeah, out? Yeah, I do. Go ahead. Remy. Yeah. I know you started out in California at the do. Yeah, yeah. Who were your trainers? <clears throat> well, uh, when, I, when we got there, uh, Rocky Romero um, was – pretty much running the, the, the school, so to speak. Like, he was the head trainer. Right. But um, they, were in, they were in transition, so they were shipping him back to uh, Japan. Right. And uh, at the time, Shinsuke was supposed to be uh, taking the belt, the IWGP belt, off of Brock. Right. Uh, so they wanted him to get bigger, so they sent him to America for nine months to bulk up. So... Uh, Shinsuke was our was my trainer uh, for nine months out of the the, the time that I was there uh, while I my, was at the dojo. My, my, my wife's looking. Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah, Nakamura. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that you know what that that's a heck of an opportunity to be trained by a guy like him. Uh, you know it, that that was the universe blessing me. You know, because in no way did we think that we were going out there like me and. My buddy, when we first started, we went out to uh, Chushan Liger seminar uh, like nine months prior to that, and uh, they asked us to come back to uh, to try to say, "Hey, do you guys want to live here?" Because at the time, Brian was living there, uh, and uh, that was pretty much what you did: is you went and lived and trained crazy. And we th we thought that that was what we had to do. Sure. Uh, we weren't we didn't have money or anything like that, so we had to get like jobs, but. Uh, that was kind of how we lived. Uh, so, yeah, we just – it was blessed to, uh, to have them. Yeah, you can't put a price tag on that opportunity. Mm, no, that was crazy. Sure. I want to go to something that happened this weekend that I think shocked a lot of people at an event. Matt Cardona attacked the NWA champion Trevor Murdoch after his match at Hard Times 2. Did any, raise your hand if you saw that coming. Didn't think so. So, Matt Cardona shows up there. We just saw him, of course, at Impact. Um, what do you guys make of Cardona showing up over there? 
Yeah, I think he's just, you know, he's going to be showing up everywhere, right, because he's free agent. Uh, I think his best bet is uh, the GCW stuff just because he's starting to get, like, a lot more uh, notoriety from it. You know, mm-hmm. like, it's it's uh, it's such the opposite, right, sure. of what he's, like, used to. And I think, like, I, I, I don't know how much deathmatch he wants to do, but... Um, it sounded like after that last one, I don't know if he wants to do anymore. <laughs> I, 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 he had this, like, match here... Uh, in Vegas with, like, just uh, it's one of the guys, local guys that they picked up. Uh, and they really tore the house down. It was crazy uh, how good he really is. And you really don't get that until you see pro wrestling live, right? right. You don't get to appreciate it. Mm-hmm. So I think, like, Matt has been uh, doing it a really long time. And uh, he can go anywhere. I It sucks because you would think that his next big thing would be like an a- NXT or an AEW, but there's really no room for all that. Impact right. isn't, isn't enough for him. So right. normally what he would probably end up doing would be New Japan, right? Because that's how like Juicy did it, like Juicy sure. Robinson and shit. Sure. So that's, that would be the best bet. Uh, I don't know what he goes next. I, I don't know. Uh, I still like – I think the GCW is just fine for him, but I don't know how much Deathmatch Sure. Is. Yeah, really. Matt, your thoughts? I'm a big fan of their podcast. I've been a big Zack Ryder fan, like – all along so it's kind of cool to see him being like going down the indies and like the bigger promotions and just almost taking over and being like he has like this big cult following that follows him no matter what he does so seeing him go from like internet champion to possibly the nwa and possibly impact champion soon would kind of put that dagger in wwe be like see you could have done this to me all along that's right Instead of just having a one-night title holder as the Intercontinental Champion, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, Chief, final question before we go to another uh, raffle drawing. Dream match. One match. Me? Your dream match. Well, you ain't talking to me about oh. a dream match. <laughs> I can give a dream match, but it ain't the ring, my friend. You know what I'm saying? Your dream match with oh, anybody. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, wow. Um, you know, I... As I know, we we have our we have our differences, me and Joe. But he kind of blessed me in that, uh, where uh, me and Jack were able to wrestle Liger. You know, I had to wrestle a tag team match, but you can't really do like that's my hero. That's who I grew up watching. Uh, if I could wrestle anybody, it'd probably be Eddie Guerrero. If I could wrestle anybody, right? That's what I would. That's who I want. I like uh, that. Right now, I probably jump at like a Rey Mysterio would be fun, right? Um, I don't know, man. A- anybody and everybody, right? That's who I want to wrestle. You want to you wrestle anybody and everybody. But, yeah, Eddie, Eddie would probably be the, the cream of all cream. You know, I, for me, I, I got to be in there with Liger, and that was enough to sit there and wrap my, wrap my career on that. I'd be right all right on. with that, yeah. That's, that's a gr- I love the Eddie Guerrero thought. All right, it's time. No, it's not time. I'm getting the finger. Oh, no, it's another not Another raffle time. time. Another I raffle time. Raffle no, time. time. No, 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 What's that? Yeah, let's do the Chiefs rant. Chiefs rant, rant, very special edition brought to you by Bruce Brothers, which you can catch every Sunday, 2 p.m. on Facebook, courtesy of the Top Rope Collectibles channel. If you're not already in that group, just search them out in the search bar. With that, it is now time for a special edition of the Chiefs rant. Hey, this is the Chief. My three minutes of fame, it's now 2.58. I don't have a rant tonight, but you know what? I got a rant. I'm so glad that I can say this publicly. The first time I've seen our guest wrestle out here in Vegas... The first match I went to, it was a tag team match. Remy and Jack Manley. And I forget who you were going against. But I remember you flying out of the ring and hitting the freaking guardrail. And I was sitting front row. And, I mean, you hit it. And I got down on my knee at the guardrail. And I said, are you okay? And you didn't answer me at first, and it scared the shit out of me. And uh, it was at the Silverton. And to see you back a few years ago, 
And to see you hold that belt now, that's a freaking honor. Thank and you. That's a privilege. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's a rant. <laughs> it's emotional. <laughs> and uh, we got another brother who's coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm ready for him, too. He's I love you. Love you, too. He hit that guardrail so hard, he's trying to remember what event <laughs> you're talking about. It's true. There's so many, so many guardrails right I've gone into. I can see it's like, do I remember that <laughs> night? Do I not remember that night? I think, to be honest with you, I think it was Rush and um, his tag partner. Oh, man. You've been going a long time. Part good team. Lord. All right, Remy. We're going to have you yep. pick another raffle oh, another ticket. One. Another Mix one. Mix them up good. Re reach in there. Oh, oh Heather says, Come wait, on, wait, 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 as she runs Come to get her on, 900 Heather tickets. Casey. You not prance, Garth. you prance, not Garth. Saunter, was that Anybody Saunter? But Garth. Shuffle. Anybody but Garth. <laughs> One <laughs> seven five. Oh, there they see it she, is. she she shuffled back in time. <laughs> All right, so come on, oh, go around the desk. You get a choice of either. <laughs> One, two, three. You get either your choice of the envelope or two of the cards on the table. Your choice. Door number two. That's right. oh, now she's getting advice from Liz. In the meantime, while she's doing that, we're going to step aside for our, as we give a cheap pop to Mondo Rocks, courtesy of Heather's shirt. Hey, Mondo Rocks. There you go. Thanks, nice, Chief. Either the envelope or two. Of the what? I'll tell you what. Mondo's Canadian. Let's, let's go. Let's go to break. Mondo's Canadian. We'll be right back. At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide much-needed life-saving equipment to first responders. We make our subs differently because our subs make a difference. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. One. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit you hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over, listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! If inspiration is the beginning, where does it lead? Experience the 2021 Mazda 3 sedan and see where inspiration can take you. Grab the brass ring in a 2021 Mazda 3 with exclusive FSW discounts at Finley Mazda. Get Garth today at the Valley Auto Mall. Sin City Sublimation is an all-in-one design and manufacturing shop making everything here in Las Vegas. Most companies have everything made overseas. We do not and can do all the work in two weeks or less. From the port to the field, we have all types of sports uniforms for your liking, but if you are looking for something else, we also make memorial shirts, birthday shirts, and fan gear for your kids' teams. Send us an email at sales at sincitysublimation.com, and if you mention Thoughts Count Anywhere, we will take $5 off each shirt with a minimum of 12 purchased. A pro wrestler-owned business, we are known for reasonable pricing with a fast turnaround all made in the USA. For more information, go to SinCitySublimation.com for more. If you order Firehouse Subs online or with our app, we'll have those delicious, melty subs boxed, bagged, and ready to pick up with Rapid Rescue to go. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. Oh, okay. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah. I, I've heard of it. I've heard of it. Welcome back to Firehouse Subs, Thoughts Count Anywhere, coming to you live right here from what location address, Chief? 5905 Southeastern Avenue, Suite 109. <laughs> we want to say hello to all those watching and listening at this point. You can see our staff back there. We want to thank the staff uh, and Michelle from Firehouse Subs. We appreciate them. I asked them, by the way, they had Thanksgiving off, which was very nice. You know what? They always treat us well. Absolutely. Absolutely. They treat always. us well. So we want to thank the folks here at Firehouse. We want to thank Michelle for making us feel at home. Absolutely. And we want to thank everybody for coming down tonight. Give yourselves a round of applause for coming down tonight, supporting Remy, supporting Thoughts County, <laughs> as, she, as Garth is trying to eat and clap with one hand. Garth, okay. Claus. No more featured guests for me, pal. You, you just got it. Exactly. All right. Let's go into some WWE news. 
Do we uh, have to? Yeah, there's only a couple oh. items on there. Then we'll go back to, to Remy. Which part? Feature guest. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Soundbite, soundbite. We finally got him. <laughs> we are clipping the hey, hell hey, out of hey, that. Hey, hey. Oh, got him. <laughs> <laughs> got him. <laughs> Garth. <laughs> Garth got voiced. <laughs> is what happened. Right on. All right. I can't um, wait to mess with that one later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Miz. Hope, excuse me. Yes, sir. Paybacks. For, for <laughs> you guys, trust me, you ain't seen nothing yet. Trust me. <laughs> the Miz is set to face Edge at day one. Is this going to turn into an intergender match? Because Maurice showed up last week. And Beth Phoenix has stepped aside from NXT broadcasting. We talked about it on Saturday. Right. And it looks like it's definitely going that way. Right. right, right. Hopefully, hopefully uh, I want to see the Glamazon slam Miz's ass. He pro she probably will. Oh, yeah. She I want to see it happen. I, and you know, out my mind. I, the thing with, with, Phoenix, with Beth Phoenix so being removed from NXT so quickly is they're making it that obvious. You know, I mean... I would have rather seen the match go on. Maurice is down at the ring at day one. Right. She starts interfering. Then all of a sudden, Beth comes down the ramp and, and evens up the tide or gets Maurice out of there. By her leaving the NXT commentator's booth, they made it obvious. I right? think they ought to put Remy in as, uh, as her replacement. Absolutely. And what? call the matches. Oh. Oh, down at NXT? Yeah. yeah. Commentator. Sorry, I'll do, I'll do, I didn't mean no, to wake no, you yeah, up yeah, there, I'll do, a lot, I'll, do a, just, I'll do a lot better than Joe. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. There was, I saw something that there's somebody's wedding that weekend. It might have been Cardona's, I think, or somebody's. Who is it? It is, right? Yeah, Cardona's yeah, yeah. getting married that day, and, of course, The Miz was invited. So Cardona puts out there maybe Sandow will be sent his stunt double <laughs> to go down to wrestle eggs. <laughs> be interesting, wouldn't it? So, anyway. You never know. Uh, Becky Lynch defeated Liv Morgan last night on Raw to retain her title. Obviously, no big surprise that Becky won. What does this mean for Liv? Chief, <laughs> you stole I, my line. I don't know. She's not a hubcap, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I think. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I think. Um, I, wait. What's that? I think. Uh, oh man, what's oh, up no. with? Well, can, all right, wait, wait. Can we? Can we talk about? Wait, who, you, I've what? been looking for your head all day. Now I finally found him. Can we? Can you tell? Yeah, us I'll take that? a number oh, four. Chief, did you set this up? Shut your mouth. You get just out of my chair. Like that? Get out of my chair, old man. Get out of my chair. Chief. <laughs> Chief. Aaron. Woo! Oh, feeling good. Do you set this up? No. Have a, have Give me that belt. Have a seat. Have a seat. Why don't you? Give me that belt. Why don't you sit at the head of the table? Shut your mouth, four eyes. Give me that belt. No. Wow. Leave the belt right here. Sit, sit you up. little bitch. You <laughs> little bitch. You've been running from me. Running? I've been, I've been looking. Right here. I went eight miles out and six feet deep to find you. Now I found Chief. you in Firehouse Subs. Man, I got and I'll rip it right Chief. off your stomach. Chief. We'll do nothing. We'll do nothing. We'll do nothing. Just go ahead and sit down. Enjoy us. Give me that belt. My, this is my belt, my bitch. Phone. My phone. This is my belt. Get a shot. My phone. Get a shot. This is my belt. Woo, let's so good around my waist. Yeah, yeah, give me three of them. Oh, it tastes so is good. Is your boy? I can feel it. Dude, your time dude. is coming up, Remy. Where's that camera? Where's yeah. that camera? His time's coming up Aaron. because there's a future legend that's going to rip it right Jeez. off of him. <laughs> but for now, I'll put it back with you. Ah, oh, jeez. Take a seat, man. Let me, you know, you want to air your grievances? You want to talk? Get out of my seat. You don't. You have any more of you? Do you have to? Get all you, Aaron, Mark. Do you have to cover anything else? Yeah, I'll take a number four. No, Aaron, do you have to cover? anything I'll take else? a number four with Remy sauce on it. Listen, sit, go ahead and sit down, man. Let, Re listen, Re 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 the, the reason, the reason why, Aaron, let's just talk about yeah, this. Go, the, re go the, for re it. the reason why this kid will never, ever hold this belt is because shut your mouth, you you're, little you're, bitch. You're, you're Mark, bro. You're, you, you little bitch. You don't take this serious. I will slap you all over my face. That's why I came here. Because I knew all these marks were doing a podcast. I figured to boost the ratings. And they're tired of hearing you talk. 
You're talking over me, bro. If if we don't allow, if we don't have equal time on the mics, I'll have the producer cut that mic so Remy can respond. The, yeah, and I'll hit you across the face. Uh, uh, you, listen, listen, man. You 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 you're a joke. You strut around. You don't take the business serious. That's why you'll never get further in the head in the business. That's why you've guys been, like Nick Zander. You've been here for 11 guys, years. I, you've been I, here I, for 11 I, years. Right, I've been here for 11 months. I've, I've done more for, than you. I've, been on I've top already for made it into the against Hammerstone. I've been on top for 11 years. I've beaten years. you before. Uh, you haven't beaten nobody. You can't even beat Rocky T. You probably you couldn't beat Garth. <laughs> you couldn't beat nobody, bro. What you should do is get some security. Get this motherfucker out of here before I have to fucking get you out of here. You and your cardigan. Chief, I can't believe. Chief. Get Chief. out of my seat. The camera's not on Chief. me. Get out of my seat. Over here. Chief. Get out of here. I want to be close to okay, Aaron. I want to okay. be close. I know this is your show. I want to be close to and everything like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, the camera can't this see is the problem me. with this kid. This is the Shut problem with this mouth, kid. Chief. This kid. So, it, it, when... When is a penny match possibly going to happen? With I, Next week, I have tomorrow, no, I, I have my no backyard, problem. his I backyard. Not, I have no problem wrestling the rookie of the year. Can you and hear me? me and Bodie will wrestle. Is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> I have no problem wrestling the rookie of the year. Me and Bodie will wrestle. I promise that. You know, because Bodie's the rookie of the year. Or Nick Xander, anybody but your punchable face. I want to take him out in just a couple weeks. I can't wait to take him out in just a couple of weeks. You know, if it, it, listen, if Joe wants it, like we'll, we can do this on the twenty third. There's a there's a there's a show. I'm not gonna be here. I got uh, other oh, commitments. You, really? You know? Oh, you're not gonna be here? Boo. Because the strut is torn all across the West Coast, baby. You ain't doing nothing, bro. You ain't doing. Nothing. I'll fight you in my turtleneck right now you're, in the middle of Firehouse Sub. So what's up? Your cardigan. What's up? Your cardigan. Your what's car up? Your cardigan. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you did. You got beat by Rocky T, bro. Yeah, because you know you get beat by owners. You because I mean? all these guys need to understand, and especially when I go to Northern California, that yes, I know I'm walking this into Young Northern Lions California. territory. This is I know the this Nevada is Las Vegas State Championship. This is Las Vegas, I and know. I'm not down in California, and here's the thing, bro. Remy, but none they, of you. But the only way you're gonna get into California is if you're vaccinated. Here in Nevada, bro, we don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay. So take your pussy you ass cross-eyed mark or you, you cross-eyed mark. Shut your fucking mouth. You cross-eyed right. mark. I think it. I think at this point, Matt and Chief, I'm going to step aside for a break to try to let things cool down for a couple of minutes. Thanks, Aaron. So with that, Thanks, you're watching Aaron. Thoughts Count Anywhere. Hopefully, yeah, we'll be back happened. right after this. <laughs> At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide much-needed life-saving equipment to first responders. We make our subs differently because our subs make a difference. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. One. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over, listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! If inspiration is the beginning, where does it lead? Experience the 2021 Mazda 3 sedan and see where inspiration can take you. Grab the brass ring in a 2021 Mazda 3 with exclusive FSW discounts at Finley Mazda. Get yeah, Garth today at the Valley Auto Mall. Sin City Sublimation is an all-in-one design and manufacturing shop making everything here in Las Vegas. Most companies have everything made overseas. We do not and can do all the work in two weeks or less. From the port to the field, we have all types of sports uniforms for your liking, but if you are looking for something else, we also make memorial shirts, birthday shirts, and fan gear for your kids' teams. Send us an email at sales at sincitysublimation.com, and if you mention Thoughts Count Anywhere, we will take $5 off each shirt with a minimum of 12 purchased. A pro wrestler-owned business, we are known for reasonable pricing with a fast turnaround all made in the USA. For more information, go to SinCitySublimation.com for more. If you order Firehouse Subs online or with our app, we'll have those delicious, melty subs boxed, bagged, and ready to pick up with Rapid Rescue to go. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. Welcome back to Thoughts Cut Anywhere Firehouse talking. Subs Remote Show. 
somehow Who's this cougar talking. To? I, I I would like to say we had a little decorum during the break, but obviously you can tell we never got it. Uh, we're down to about 10, 12 minutes, and I do have some other business to attend to. We'll try to do that before we actually sign off. And again, Remy. Um, you are scheduled guest tonight, and I'm sorry that what has been going on has been taken away oh, from your time. Aaron, don't, don't be sorry. It's, unfi- it's, it's fine. I'll- this one? Okay, yeah. Don't be sorry. It's fine. You know, I, if there's one thing that I don't mind is uh, sharing my spotlight with the young and unfortunate. You know, this is a – this is a – I, I'm going to make a I'm I'm granting your wish. It's make a wish for you, kid. Oh, look good in this turtleneck. Make, make a wish. Better Make a wish. You you've never had the spotlight like you have when it, you know, when I'm standing on the other side of the when ring with you. When the mic's in my hands and I'm in the center of the ring, every single person in attendance you're like, shuts you, up the like, stairs. Like, While well, I strut around, I'm about to have a gold lace strut because I'm taking that damn title this no is, matter what. This isn't gold. This is silver. It's the Silver State Championship. You idiot. You. Paul Logan, piece of crap. Yeah, you're just a reject, bro. You're a reject. You cougar. Yeah. Shut your mouth, you cougar. That's what you are. You're a cougar. That's what you are. That's getting frisky over here, Aaron. And you're a cross-eyed husband. Absolutely, because your sister can get it too. She can get this left hand and right hand too, just like anybody else. You know... Will this you, is my podcast. Will you do me a favor, Remy? Yeah. I want you to have a match with this jabroni. Oh. And when you have the match, I want to come out as your manager. Because this son of a bitch hasn't seen me as a manager. And I've managed one other guy. Get that belt off other, your shoulders. Get one that other belt guy. off your shoulders. Get that belt off your shoulders. And that guy didn't lose. I said, get and that I belt off. Shut your you mouth. ain't going to lose Shut either. Shut up and stare. I got the stick in my hand. Get that belt off your shoulders. Put it on the shoulders of a real man. That's me because I'm taking that damn belt off you, whether it's yes, in Firehouse it Subs, it could be at FSW, it could be in Northern California. It don't matter because the belt's coming home with that D. Who? Who? Huh? I'm a daddy to every single one of this roster. You know why? I don't know what that means, bro. You're you're talking millennial, and I don't care where. No, no. I, like no, no, for no. me, for me, you're just you know, all you are is like you're like that guy who's in his pickup truck who gets over four lanes and doesn't use a directional signal. Talk. You know what I'm saying? You're a piece of crap. You're a terrible human being. You're like the mouth Every cancer of FSW. Every person loves me. You're Every the mouth cancer in the stands of loves FSW. Me. They're making me free subs as we speak because when I'm champ, I run damn firehouse subs. Here's the deal. Shut your mouth. Here's the deal. You know, a lot of you guys are very similar. Guys like you and Damian Drake. You came from a tag team. Me and Damian Drake are not similar at all. You came from a tag team. You came from a tag team. That man is in a relationship. I say again, you came from a tag team. Damian Drake came from a tag team. And what did your partners do? They left you because they knew they were better off without you. So you know what? How about after I take that title, you and Damian Drake make your own tag team. It's called Two Bitches, One Tag. Listen, I was a singles wrestler before I was ever a tag wrestler. And I was a champion then. Where's and I'm Jack a champion Manley? now. And all I care is Jack Manley. And, and you it doesn't he's matter what Jack Manley is. I'm tired champion, of hearing right? this guy talk. The, if you if you ran into the streets with into into Jack Manley in the streets, you wouldn't want to know where Jack Manley is, bro. You of all people wouldn't want to know that, because when you step in the ring with a gentleman, whirlwind, eighty six or one of us, whether it's me, Jack or Kevin, you will fall. You will fall. Kevin Cross, fall and pray, fall and pray. Well, I got something for Kevin Cross. He can shut up and stare because he's coming back to what he thought was his house, but it's damn Brett the Threat's house, and I've taken it over with the power of the strut. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You're going to hear that. You're going to hear that the rest of your career. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, uh, that's quite a thing to hear. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. You know, I, I have to. Oh. Why does this I, guy keep talking? I set this up. Why does you set this it guy up? Keep I, I set this up. Did you? But, uh, Thank God. For one reason. I knew it. I knew he set me up. <laughs> for one reason. <laughs> to try to help this young man. Oh yeah. With he his needs his help. Career. He needs help. With his career. See the thing about but it. Guess what? It's the thing about he it. He don't have a career. It, I know. 
Because he needs to go twelve steps. This yes, is the he needs, he's this got is who you one go day, on a podcast. One day at a time. I was, I was, in, I was out there winning championships. This, guy, this man sitting this there throwing back Bud Lights. And then, who are you? <laughs> Someone you don't need to know. Sorry, what really, who you I'm sorry, on yes, this too, Randy. <laughs> what what <laughs> really was wrong house with subs, him? I prefer Subway. Damn it! What was right. what was wrong with All him? Right. Go ahead, Aaron. Aaron. You play security on Fremont Street. I think we've just ended it because we need to maintain our relationship with Firehouse. Yes, we do. Can you do, do. the honor so we can wrap up the show, please? Uh, you, have to, you have to escort him. I'll tell Firehouse so they can sponsor are, me after are, I win the belt. Can you cut his mic, please? Because it is time that we have to move on. Sorry. The sorry the threat. Man, I'm sorry, but we have to have you can strut your ass on out of here. On yeah, well, you strut. You What's you your strut. name? Don't worry about my name. Strut, 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 strut out. Strut out. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> All right. Lady. Thank you. Thank you. Champ, I, I apologize. Oh, that, that was I, great. Aaron, you know, we, we're well, getting ratings over here, Aaron. Yeah, we are getting. Well, we're getting something. I can tell you that much. Uh I, sorry, I have to take this call from Michelle at Firehouse Subs right about now. No, he was only kidding about the subway remark. Anyway, uh, but still, we, we, we pride ourselves on decorum and respecting our guests, and having him come in and bust on your time is not right, and I'll take responsibility for that. But enough's enough, because now he's disparaging our sponsor, and that's not going to happen. You can defend yourself. My sponsor cannot, and I will stand to protect my sponsor. So there you go, Aaron. I like that. Now we have not. All right, with that, if it's okay with you, we're going to give away our grand prize. Yes, one more. Line. That's one. And we're going to end the night, too. Right. So we have the big picture, and we have three sports cards that you can take with you come as well. Come on, come on. Three, three, former, three former WWE superstars. What the you got? The one, four, one. One, four, one. Who is it? Yeah. Dave. All right. Attaboy. All right. Dave's got it. Now, <laughs> the guy Dave. who spent $1,000 on tickets only went home with one prize. How does that happen? <laughs> but it's okay. But we, appre <laughs> but, well, we, but we appreciate you nonetheless, and we thank everybody for coming down tonight. We only have a couple of minutes. Yeah, he's getting everything. Yeah, grand prize winner. Grand so prize he's winner. Got big, he's got the big picture and the three cards. I can't see the big picture. That's... Excuse me? Wow. Oh. Things have gotten really ornery right about now. All right. I don't know. I hope Chief is safe out there because he hasn't come back since <laughs> you guys took him at. I hope Brett. That's true. Brett. That's true. Hey, Chief's anyway, a Marine. Um, might be under a tire or something. Remy, thank you so much thank for coming. Thank you, Aaron. In. Champ, appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yeah, thanks for oh, coming I on, man. You, really Remy Marcel, you. ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for having me. Here. Thank you, Chief. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you all for coming tonight. Give yourselves a round of applause. And thank our folks here at Firehouse Subs for taking care of us all, as always. 5905 Southeastern Avenue, Suite 109, right in front of the Big W. All right, with that, make sure you join us this Saturday in our usual time slot, 9 to 11 a.m. Saturdays, right here on our Facebook page. Brought to you by Sin City Sublimation. Bruce Brothers, Firehouse, and of course, Got Garth, Power Play Sports Collectibles. We couldn't do it without all of you. We thank you, Remy, once again. Thank you, Matt. Saturday's a new day, thank goodness. And Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Felt like I was at work for a minute. <laughs> and I'm sorry to have put you to work for that matter. So, anyway. We belongs right on Fremont with the other crackheads. <laughs> With that, thank you for watching, everybody. Have a good night. We'll see you on Saturday. Be kind to everybody. Why is that? We're all we have. Thank you, everybody, for watching. At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide much-needed life-saving equipment to first responders. We make our subs differently because our subs make a difference. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives. If you order Firehouse Subs online or with our app, we'll have those delicious, melty subs boxed, 
bagged and ready to pick up with Rapid Rescue to Go. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives.